All right, so if you if you have a, a colorblind person, right? And I'm assuming that that comes from like com comes from like their eyes, right? That colorblindness comes from like the way their eyes are. If you if you manage to replace their eyes with the eyes of a uh, person without uh, who's not colorblind. Uh, would would they be able to would they be able to like see like a normal person or or is the color by like I, I I don't know I don't want to research this I just think it's more fun to think about than the research because when you actually look it up it's like oh well that's kind of kind of lame you know but like if you if you replace their eyes with a normal person's eyes would it be like you know would they would they have that vision I guess is sort of what I'm the, the normal vision and if you replaced a normal person's eyes with another normal person's eyes would it be any different because you know there's always the theory of like oh well maybe we all see different colors like i don't know that your red is my red's color there's no way to prove it but you know unless we did something maybe as drastic as replacing our eyes with another person's eyes um which I guess maybe isn't ethical, but um, it's interesting, I guess. I don't know, that's just one of the many, many stupid things I think about. Um, by the way, I'm playing Forsburn uh, instead of Zetterburn because, you know, I wanted to get a... Uh, I wanted to play him because he's kind of... I, I just think he's a very elegant character. I mean... Just the way he fights, he just looks so, so refined and elegant and fancy and schmancy, and he just dances around his opponents as his clone as his clone is just all gung ho and just runs straight towards them. It's quite elegant, really. You know the duality of Forsburn and his clone. You know, he's really a great tactician. I was playing very well this game, and then right at the end, I just start playing like a complete shitbag. Um, but yeah, the colorblind thing. Like, I just think, the thing I'm most interested in is honestly, if you replace a normal person's eyes with another normal person's eyes, can you, can you magically, like, see colors again, you know? Like, or see, can you magically see, like, uh, do colors look any different, or do they look the same? Because I'm assuming they look the same, but, like, technically we've had no way to prove it. I don't know how eyes work, really, so, you know, I don't know if that would actually work. And, obviously, I don't know if we have the technology to do that. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so, in terms of what's going on in my life, I've just received the news that... I have gotten, get this, I have gotten a 5 on my AP Calculus uh, exam, which is probably some of the best news I've ever received in my life, I'm going to be fucking real with you. That was, that was, I popped off so fucking hard. I was like crying, kind of, you know, it was very, it felt very, 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 very rewarding. Uh, and very good because you know my ass was worried about that because I needed a, a good score on that to get into my uh, into multivariable calculus you know um, so to get a five was pretty pretty awesome I think you only needed to get like two-thirds of the questions right to get a five but like or was it 50 percent was it only half the questions I don't know I think it was two-thirds of the questions for a five and, and, you know, that's just, it just feels so good. Like, literally one of the best things I've ever had the fortune to hear in my life, man. And, uh, one of the, uh, most uh, recent times I have cried, and it was a great cry. And it was one of the most beautiful cries I've ever had in my life. And I'm very thankful, and I'm very delighted um so yeah that's that fuck that class i'm the goat i'm a beast 
I'm a legend. <laughs> Alright, enough of that boring, boring dialogue. I mean, nobody really cares what you have accomplished in your life. Nobody even cares. I mean, look at Forsburn. He's out here wearing, like... Bro, look at... Just look at his crotch area and you'll understand. Forsburn does not care. He's proud of who he is. And he just lets it kind of... He just kind of lets it hang out there. And I gotta really respect him for that. Um. So, yeah. My final question of the day. A great finish by me, by the way. Um. My final question of the day. What happens if you poop while laying down? You know what I'm saying? Like if you're laying on your on the front on the front part, you know, on your belly. If you're laying on your belly, you know, and you poop, what happens? Cuz like I'm assuming when you poop, it's like aided by gravity, right? You know? Because normally your butt's facing down, so the poop kind of slides out with the help of, you know, I'm assuming, like, some contractions and gravity or something. That's what I'm assuming anyway. Um, but, you know, now gravity isn't on your side. Now gravity's against you if you're on your belly. So, like, first of all, can it even come out? And second of all, if it does, it's just going to splooge all over your butt cheeks, really. You know, it's just going to splooge everywhere. And it's not it's not gonna be fun. Great tech. Great tech by Bowser. Um and you know, like I gotta I gotta give it to you. You know. It's a great tech. Um But yeah, it, I feel like it would just, you know, splooge and sort of splash around all over your your butt cheeks if it did come out. You know, if it was explosive enough, I'm sure it could come out. You know, there's different levels to, like, how hard you need to poop, right? So, I'm assuming if you needed to poop bad, it could come out. But, you know, if it, if it was one of those where it was kind of hard to get out, I don't know. I don't know if it's possible. It might be possible, though. I ran into that F-Smash somehow. Very, very bad play for me. Uh, and he just kind of stands there. Because I think he thinks I'm a dunderhead. When really he's about to lose this game, so he's uh he's um he's getting owned, I'm afraid. Um And uh yeah, I don't know. I was that, that's just one of the many things I think about, you know. Cause like it's just It's just so enlightening to think about, I think. I think really, uh Advanced and he's got and he's got a perfect edge guard situation and the down air the reverse down air to finish the game and That is just an incredible finish from um, The young the young prodigy player, you know, he's gonna be um, a Professional uh, before you know it really so yeah, I hope you enjoyed have a wonderful wonderful day. Goodbye